Good morning. I thought I would vlog today because I haven't done a vlog in a pretty long time. It is early. It is, well actually, what time is it? Quarter past six. I'm just going out for a run, just get my trainers on. Lava's here, so. In fact, she's been here the last almost two weeks now, to be honest. And so I have been able to like go out in the mornings. Obviously, when I, when she's not here, I can't leave the kids in the morning to go out for a run. So it's been nice to have her here to be able to do that. I'm pretty tired. Didn't have a wonderful night with one in particular. But that's okay. That's okay. I'll go for this one. Hopefully, it'll wake me up, make me feel better i don't know what we've got i don't know what's happening today to be honest i'm not quite awake enough really to even think about it but <sighs> yeah i need to go and wake up so tired <laughs> still a little bit dark out here it's just getting light oh so peaceful i'm back and i am pretty pleased with that at the time that was kind of like what i was running when i was doing my challenge back in January of running a mile every day so yeah that's good very hot and sweaty after that I'm gonna go and hop in the shower try and get myself sorted before these kids are gonna demand my attention are we got you happy we got one awake smiley happy baby are you, are you happy this morning that's nice morning. Thank you very much. How are you? Did you have a good night's sleep? <laughs> you want to get out, get some breakfast? First thing we're going to take Stephen to school. I've got a little bit of a busy morning with the foster children with meetings and dropping them at various different places and Lara is going back to London today so I'm gonna drive her to Wigan at some point not sure when we're gonna fit that in but she's gonna come with me and we'll we'll see how it works with the various meetings and things that are going on but for now I'm gonna get Stephen to school um I don't know really I was just ready so I thought I'd just am I early oh I am 14 plus I didn't realize I was just ready so I just like got in the car because you're not you're not normally ready no. to, like, <laughs> He's smiling at Stephen. <laughs> ah. Shall I wait or should we go? Oh, they don't no. come very clean. Go. Okay. <laughs> Have you got any good things going on today? Good lessons? Good. I think I've got computer science. Last computer science. Bye. Right, bye. Have a nice day. I have got rid of everyone so good just to be it's been so long since i've just been like if he wasn't in the various different places it's been an interesting morning um meeting was cancelled so oh, just a bit irritated and i've just taken Lara to the station then and um i was looking at the departure boards and it was all like oh trains were cancelled and trains to london were running late and everything i was like oh you're gonna have to like, wait potentially quite a long time for a train so we went to the assistance place because she gets assistance for from the people to put her on the train and we went there and he was like we've got some good news and we've got some bad news um we've got no trains <laughs> that preston station has been evacuated don't really know the story about that but preston station has been evacuated <clears throat> and so um obviously trains are blocked and stuff and i don't know they're having a nightmare with the trains but a train had just come in because the train from london goes up through to glasgow and the train from London had arrived on the other side and it was continuing up to Glasgow but they were kicking the passengers off which as I was walking out they weren't happy you could hear which you wouldn't be clearly you wouldn't be it's like what on earth do we do now um, they were kicking the passengers off that train that was on its way up to Glasgow and it was sent being sent back down to Euston so Laura got there back on time to get that train down to London so that worked well 
that was good i have just come i've got a little bit of time in between picking one of the children up so i'm gonna come and do a little bit of a shop i i've got myself into a bit of a pickle because every like six months or so i like to do a bit of a like go through the pantry go through the freezer like get rid of all the old stuff and i've been doing that and so we're down to kind of bare bones we're well, not bare bones but we're on our way to bare bones with food and this whole coronavirus panic buying it's driving me a bit insane i feel like, like i'm not gonna get into the whole panic buying because i'm not gonna go and panic buy because i think it's ridiculous to go and panic buy stuff but i haven't really got anything in my cupboards anymore but i noticed that like i was trying to do a shop online and like pasta is sold out everywhere passata is sold out like the damn whole toilet roll situation we'll be all right with that because we have like cheeky wipes like reusable when before like i started fostering and we were trying to be all eco-conscious we got these cheeky wipe things to use instead of toilet roll that we were using for a while actually so we'll be fine without any toilet roll no problem i mean i'm not so sure that i'd like to use it for like anyway that, that's let's just end that conversation about toilet roll but yeah i just need to come and get some basics to fill up my pantry a little bit but i feel like maybe there won't be anything left but anyway let's go and see let's go see what there is well this is the pasta shelf we can't get any pasta polenta maybe i'll get some polenta we quite like polenta the bit of spaghetti here. Oh my goodness. Chopped tomatoes. Bit of a problem as well. Oats are a bit of a problem. Not as much as the other things, but people are definitely getting the oats in. Check out the toilet roll aisle. How ridiculous. And of course, hand wash all gone well that was an interesting little shop i have to say there were so many people complaining about the fact that shelves are empty and stuff and just like not complaining that they're empty complaining about like the whole panic buying thing which i agree with it's just ridiculous what this has taught me i think is that we are a nation of pasta lovers in tomato sauce pasta and tomato sauce lovers somehow beans come into the equation i'm not quite sure what we're eating with our beans because the bread aisles like i would have like beans on toast or whatever but the bread aisles were fine so i'm not quite sure what we're having with our beans we're having pasta and tomato sauce beans and we all clearly have like problems with the shits why toilet paper is being like but well, that's everywhere i think that's just ridiculous how toilet roll is just being sold out like all over the world crazy we clearly think that coronavirus is going to give us the shit so we need as much toilet paper as we can possibly have and also we never use antibacterial soap ever unless there's something like this like it's crazy crazy right i'm gonna go and pick up one of the little ones and go and put my shopping away i didn't get too much it's hard not to get like sucked into it though i was like don't get sucked in honestly i need pasta We've run out of pasta almost, and I need pasta, and it pisses me off. It's all gone, and it's just sitting in people's houses. I need a little bit of pasta. But it's quite good being, like, vegan or plant-based in this scenario because I was able to get, like, plant-based pizzas and, like, lentils and chickpeas and beans, things that people don't really eat. I stocked up on those things. Not stocked up, just, like, refilled my pantry. So that's good. We won't starve if the coronavirus hits and we need to. I mean, it's just a joke, isn't it? But hey, right, let's go. Pick up the kiddo. I'd like to know what you were doing. Are you like stockpiling your food? Getting it all in? Are you one of these people that I'm complaining about? I mean, I guess partly some of it's sensible, but I think maybe the quantities that people are buying it in is just ridiculous. Like you don't need to buy 20 bags of pasta leave some for other people like it will do no good like well, let's be honest we're not gonna starve to death are we i can't imagine for one second that even if we have to like isolate and we're quarantined i can't imagine that i'm gonna be on death's door starving to death at all as long as like the kids have got their i think that more so like the kids have got their milk and stuff that's kind of important 
We don't even need the nappies because I do have, what are you called? Cloth, cloth nappies that I can use. So it's just the milk for the little one, really. Everything else will be fine. I'm going to feed the little one and then I've got some leftover lasagna here that I'm going to have. It's a really nice lasagna. It's got, it's made with um, pumpkin puree and like cashew nuts and spinach very nice so i'm gonna eat that and then who knows but i'm gonna enjoy the piece because i think the little one may sleep this afternoon i've got maybe two and a half hours until i need to go back out oh wow that's nice i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna enjoy myself Ooh, we're gonna go in the car let's go in the car well that was a lovely bit of time feeling a bit kind of sleepy because after <laughs> he's smiling at me i've just been for the last sort of 20 minutes i just kind of thought you know what i'm not gonna touch us we just went and I lay on my bed and put on some like meditation -y music and just close my eyes and just like relax for a little bit it's lovely i need to kind of wake myself back up out of that though now and go we gotta go we gotta go we've got to go and pick up the other foster child. Are you smiling at me? Are you happy? Did you enjoy that too? Did you enjoy listening to that music? It was nice, wasn't it? Right. Ooh. No, sleepy now. Sleepy. Let's go. Would you like me to open that box for you? Do you want me to help? Look. Oh, here you go. You can get in now. You can get all the toys out. Right, I think, oh dear, you need a bit of some milk. Do I need some milk? Yes, I think they do. Um, yeah, back at home, as you can see, and Stephen's not back yet because he's not coming, well, he's not coming from school. Oh dear, it's all right. Look, oh, do you want to get out? you want to get out of the car seat? Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> Come on. Um, no, Stephen's not back because he's going to his friends after after school today. So it's a bit of a pain that I've got to go and pick him up later on. But he doesn't do too much after school, to be honest. So like once a week, he does something. So that's fine. And he could kind of make his own way back. Now the like, nights are getting lighter and it's not as cold and horrible. He could make his own way back, but I don't mind going to go and get him. So we've got a couple of hours. I think I'll probably like try and feed the little ones and get them all sorted before I go and get Stephen. I don't know what we're going to make for tea. What do you want for tea? Uh, we're going to have uh for tea. <laughs> Wait, are you playing? That's not yours. Do you like it? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm just making a bit of a liquid snack for us all. I'm doing bottles for the little one and trying out a smoothie with the older one. I'm not sure whether it'll be something they will have, but I just, I was sorting out my freezer and I've had these berries in for ages. I'm like, we really need to be using these. I used, I went through a phase of really having, like, of having lots of smoothies and then I kind of just went off a bit and I thought, I'll just, I'm going to have one myself and we'll see if the, uh, if the little one likes it, so I'm just going to do like a banana and what's this? A berry smoothie mix. Blueberries, strawberries, a mango and raspberries with banana in a smoothie. Some for me, some for... Oh, what's that? Something for Oh, okay. Are you going to try this? Are you hungry? We'll see if you like this as something. I'll make you something else in a second. You can have this first for a little snack. Ooh, look at that colour. Looks nice. By the way, this thing, if you are a foster carer of young babies or you're expecting or whatever, like I am really not a gadget person at all. I just I can't be doing with the amount of products that are on the market. And my general philosophy in life is the less things, like just simplistic. I can't be doing with all the things. And I was so reluctant to get one of these, but when I had two children who were on bottles on formula milk, it just this has just been honestly a dream it's the tommy tippy perfect prep <gasps> i just think it's fantastic i got it second hand 
I think it's about, I think about 50 quid new or something, but you can get them on eBay or like on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. Obviously, just give it a big clean and stuff before you use it. But if you do get it secondhand, it's been so fantastic for making bottles. It's made my life so much easier. Let's see if smoothies are a hit or not. You want to try this smoothie? Yeah. Yeah? I just had a disaster. <laughs> it spilled it everywhere. Oh dear. And some more. Oh, careful. <gasps> oh, you like that? Well, that's good. It's a bit cold. Well, this smoothie is a success. I've put some in here. We're going to go and drink our smoothies. Stephen is back and we are just cooking tea. We're going to make some cakes as well because we have this cake mix thing that I'm still going on with my like use up my pantry stuff like all of this stuff in here I want to try and get rid of and so we're gonna do you want the red velvet one Stephen or the chocolate chocolate, chocolate. we're gonna make a chocolate cake to have after tea that would be nice I thought we'd make cakes you thought we'd made them? Yeah, we have another pack of it? No. Yeah, we had quite a few packs. We could put the mix in. <laughs> Calm down the- Whoa! <laughs> it's gone everywhere. Just it's like a cloud. I love that pattern. Yeah, I do. It's really real. Yeah. Yeah. Two and three, three and three, eggs, three, 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 Oh, I'm not there, smart. <laughs> that cake was delicious. I did just have a little of that. I'm trying to be really good at the moment, but I had a little bit. It was nice. I think it will probably last us quite a while because there's only, what, like two and a half of us. <laughs> well, I suppose maybe not two and a half because I'm only eating a little bit. Little one's only having a little bit. Stephen's having a big bit. So we're like two people having that cake. So it'll, it'll last a fair while. Maybe, depending on how Stephen chows through it, he might just uh, eat it all one day. But um, Papa Seven kids are asleep upstairs. I've just come down from sorting them out. That's nice. I'm going to have a bit of a sort out down here. There's a little bit of, I mean, yeah, a little bit of a mess. Just, well, that's what's going on. Just toys and bits and pieces and stuff down there. Just bits really they just need putting back where they belong and then i am gonna what am i gonna do after that to be honest i might just once i've straightened up down here i'm gonna do my daily diaries i think i might get my mac and go and sit upstairs in my bed i'm gonna go to bed i think i'm so tired after last night <laughs> didn't have a good night like i mentioned with one of them um but yeah i'm gonna go and do my daily diaries i'm in a really good habit of doing that at the moment of doing my daily diaries at least I would say every other day. I'm trying to get it doing doing it every night. Sometimes like just things happen and I was just like, oh, I can't work tonight. But I do like I make little notes of things that have happened during the day and stuff so I know what to put in the daily diary when I do do it. But generally I'm doing it every night and it's so much better. I've got myself with the previous children, I've got myself in like such a mess where you've not done for days and you've got to like look through your notes of what's happened and it's just really difficult. So I'm in a good place at the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, with doing daily diaries. So I'm going to go and sit in bed, do some daily diaries, or do today's daily diaries, and then just relax, maybe watch something, just chill out and have an early night, and hopefully, fingers crossed, have a better night than last night. <sighs> I need to have children that just sleep through the night seven till seven can't cope anymore with this cannot cope 
thank you so much for watching today give the video a thumbs up please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you soon bye <laughs>